hamstrings. So today we're doing hamstrings. It's a very neglected body group because it is an antagonist of the back, which people don't do because they're busy doing chest. Hamstrings is the same kind of a story. People are too busy doing quads to do a lot of hamstrings. And the way I get results is we split it out into its own day. And that way things are a lot more effective, results pile on quicker. And I actually really enjoy hamstring day. It's a pretty easy day. It's still leg day, but uh, you don't have to rev yourself up like you do for quads. The idea with hamstrings is hamstrings are connected in two areas on your leg. The first connection is at your knee. Very simply, it's at the back of your knee. That's where one connection is. And the other one is at your hip. So just like with any other muscle, we're trying to do full range of motion on hamstrings. And one way to do it is to make sure that you're hitting the stretch position at least every other exercise, if not almost every exercise. What does that mean, right? What does it mean that they're in a stretch position? Well, the first part is the muscle has to be completely straight in both parts where it connects to the legs. So the first part is the knee. That's simple. You just straighten the knee, right? So that means that the hamstring behind the knee is at the stretch position. But that doesn't mean the whole hamstring is being stretched because you still have the part of the hamstring by your hip. And the way to do that actually is when you're sitting is to sit forward. Because when you're sitting like that, even if you were to do it right now, you kind of feel your hamstring being stretched. And the goal when we're doing stretches is to do both at the same time. So a lot of times that means leaning over. When you lean over your knee with a straight knee, right? Your knee is straight, so that part's taken care of. And then when you're bent over at the hip, whether it's seated or standing, you're also stretched there. And you want both points of your hamstring stretched in order to consider it a stretch. If your knee is straight, but your hip is neutral and you're just standing up or you're laying down and there's no hinge at your hip, that is not a stretch position. You're only stretching in one of the two places. So that is a neutral position. We'll be alternating between neutral position and stretch position. Personally, when I started doing that, my results on hamstring, which were really slow, uh, started to really develop. So that's the goal for today. We're almost at the gym. We're pulling into this beautiful parking garage. Oh yeah. And that's how we do hamstrings.
All right, so we're done with hamstrings. Maria, how do you think we did? Great, we killed it in there. Killed it in there, yeah. I'm feeling pretty good, pretty tired. We did a lot of neutral hamstring exercises. We did uh, every almost every one after that was followed by a stretching exercise. So we did a whole bunch of work on them, a lot of heavy, high rep sets. Now it's time to go eat something. Right, Maria? Yeah. yeah. What are we gonna eat? Chicken. <laughs> I wonder where we can find a good recipe for chicken. <laughs> if oh. you haven't seen our chicken video, <laughs> what are you doing with your life? Go watch our chicken video. Uh, All right, well, bye, everybody. Bye.